Hello everyone. Now we know about combination reactions. But it is not always that different molecules combine to form a new substance, right? At times, molecules also break down to form new simpler molecules. Silver bromide, that is AgBr, is a water insoluble salt that has a sensitivity to light. Because of this, it is used in photographic materials during film development. When the light falls on it, its molecule decomposes into silver and bromine. The balanced chemical reaction for this is represented as 2 AgBr in presence of sunlight gives 2 Ag plus Br2. Here AgBr is silver bromide, Ag as we know is silver and Br2 is bromine. So we say it's a decomposition reaction as a single reactant breaks down to give simpler products. You know in such reactions energy in form of heat or light or electricity is required to break down the reactants. Another example of decomposition reaction is decomposition of calcium carbonate that is limestone to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Under what condition does this take place? Let us see. Calcium carbonate that is limestone is often heated to give quick lime that is calcium oxide. Quick lime has many uses. For example, it is used in cement production. Here, a molecule of calcium carbonate breaks down or decomposes by heating and new simpler molecules are produced. You know, when decomposition is carried out by heating, it is called thermal decomposition. So this reaction of breaking down of limestone into quick lime is known as thermal decomposition reaction. So to sum up what we learned today, a decomposition reaction is a chemical reaction in which a single substance decomposes or breaks down to give two or more substances. And don't forget decomposition reactions are opposite of combination reactions. That was all for today. Bye-bye.